My name is Florian Wangenheim. I am Professor of Technology Marketing at the MTech. In technology marketing, we deal with everything that relates technology to businesses and consumers. That means we are particularly concerned with the question how technology affects the relationship between consumers uh, or customers, also industrial customers and the company. As one example, um, recently companies have started to work with remote technologies with their customers. That means um, when you're selling mas machines to Saudi Arabia, uh, formerly an employee had to go out and repair the machine in Saudi Arabia. Now using remote technology, you can do all this from Switzerland. That sounds very attractive, very interesting, cost savings, uh, more efficiency, uh, but there are certain problems in, the customer in, in developing the customer relationship. Uh, because if you don't see your customer face to face, how do you build up trust, especially in an international environment? So we're working together with companies to develop solutions for maintaining trust, maintaining a good relationship with customers, especially in an international context, uh, even in the presence of remote services. Students can be involved in two projects in uh, many ways. Um, first contacts can be through lectures, guest lectures, case studies with practitioners, um, but of course then it goes on into research projects. Um, so we have a variety of companies that we are working with. Uh, another example could, would be um, a, a project where uh, companies work with, uh, where uh, students work with uh, company data. So companies are collecting a lot of data nowadays. Um, big data is an issue that is all around. Um, and many companies have the feeling that this data is absolutely helpful for managing customer relationships, but they don't know exactly how. So internet data, data on online marketing, data that tells me how my customers are using my website, data that tells me uh, how customers are talking to me about on, on, social, on, uh, on the internet, on social websites, on social networks. Um, and again, they help analyzing that data, um, they help making that data useful uh, for companies and in the end they can recommend to companies how to best deal with the data, uh, how to improve customer relationships based on such analysis. Students should come to MTech if they're excited about technologies, but if they recognize that they don't want to be developers all their life, but if they want to make technology is useful, um, if they want to manage technologies, if they want to be involved in uh, how technologies should be introduced uh, to the market. Um, and that especially the latter um, would be a motivation to do technology marketing because that's what we're dealing with. How are technologies accepted uh, in the market? Um, how can uh, acceptance be improved? First of all, it needs enthusiasm. You have to be convinced that you want to do this. Uh, and uh, if you're a technical person, but you recognize you also want to work in management, um, you, you see yourself as uh, linking the two worlds, uh, really wanting to understand both, uh, this is the main uh, uh, criterion. Uh, apart from this, um, of course, you should be interested in working analytically, um, understanding uh, business prob uh, problems, but still be involved in technology. And I think the fascinating thing about this is um, that you are between both worlds. You understand technologies, but you also understand business. Very much in technology firms, technology companies, um, our students are best suited to work in technology environments and uh, link uh, technology and management. Um, of course, many of our students are also very well suited to find their own company, uh, to develop a startup if, if they have a good idea because they have skills in technology, they have skills in management. Uh, so this is what it really takes to, to be a successful entrepreneur.